Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another plan with me. It's a very different one this week. I'm just going to get all of these little May Paper Co stickers out. I'm going to be using them this week predominantly I think. Now let's go to the current week. The week that was. And what I've done is pop in my new May Paper Co. Weekly Agenda. So I might just take these out and take them all out because the cool thing about these is they fit inside the monthlies. So here's my monthly section and well that's January. So what I can do here the page off and just pop oh, it's more than January in here I think just pop January in and then here's February now this is my work plan I remember I think what I've got here is uh, the first quarter of the year. We've got February and March here as well. It's March. <clears throat> okay, so I just move March over, and then it can go in there like so. So now I have my monthly section, I've got my memos here at the front. I just need to put a divider in there to separate the two. But now I have, um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this to the very front. Let's put our monthly divider <coughs> just there. I've still got my Desley Jane intro and then I'll put my memo under that because it's kind of like an inboxy thing that's what I want to use that for so then I have those I might just leave that little clip for the moment let me just do this I'm going to be a bit cheeky uh, the monthly now I haven't set up January monthly yet because I didn't have these inserts yet and this is today Sunday so I'm going to take out next week and plan it and what I will do is go back and back plan this just so that I have it in the planner. <clears throat> so this week we're going to be minimal. Don't worry I am going to go and do some pretty planning with all the kits and things in my B6 but um, for today I really wanted to try doing some super minimal planning and I've got all of these stickers from May Paper Co so she's got these um, uh, see-through adhesive notes I adore these and they're awesome I'm hoping I can find a way to use those I have these black ones um, and I haven't organized these yet so let's do that together shall we um, so we have budget like a financial one we have a entertaining kind of one and then we have a worky one and then we have little icons so that's the black ones we have these flags functional to doy things we've got hexagons teardrops and the big teardrops we've got these cute little ones um, it's like emailing phone calls birthdays and coffee we have these blush ones <clears throat> which I have a bunch of I got some for a Kris Kringle um, so let's separate these into the right ones we've got to do's worky ones they're same as the black ones um, the icons, the financial, and more icons, tons of icons. And then I have these transparent dots, which I love. 
Um, three sets of those and then normal dots both in larger and smaller ones in the taupey colors. So I'll put all those up here so we can kind of see them. I'll leave the black ones over there for now. I'm not sure I'm going to use black. I might. I haven't quite decided. All the transparent ones I think are good for calendars. And then the to-dos I think I will use. Not sure I need budget slash payday maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into it. So I've done my usual, put together a little list of what's going on this week. And I just have to transfer that to here. So um, the first thing is a meeting on Monday morning. And it's a meeting that we always have over coffee. So I'm going to use one of these coffee stickers. So if I just put it down here... I might put it um, on the second line down in case something comes up earlier, but that's at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I have a, a couple of birthdays this week. So I'm going to use these presents for those. And I might put birthdays right at the bottom of the page, like at the bottom of the day. So I have one on Tuesday. I have one on Wednesday. I'll use the balloons. And I have one on Friday, which I'll use the cake. Okay, that's those. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. <clears throat> so I can either use, a, there's a doctor's appointment little sticker there. I can either use the black or the pink and you know I'm probably going to use the pink right. I think I'll stick with pink for this spread. Doctor's appointment on Wednesday morning. And I will put that first up because it is early. It's at 8 o'clock. <clears throat> and then I'm training my team Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So do I want to use something on here for that? Is there something? There's the star, which I could use. Maybe I use a transparent dot. Oh, maybe I'll use a reminder. Yeah, I think I'll use the reminders. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all day. Um starts at 10 ish so maybe I'll put it here as a reminder sticking with the pink for <clears throat> for um, this week Thursday I'll put it at the top because it is all day I might put it off to the side hey And Friday. Now Friday, I'm not required for the first session, so I might just put this down a little. I'm giving the team away to someone else for a couple of hours. <clears throat> so it's like that. And on the weekend, I have a couple of fun things happening. So let's put let's put these. So Saturday is um, a flower arranging class, which I'm super excited about. I think I'll use the heart. With my friend who I don't see very often. And Sunday is our book club. I don't know if there's a book on here. Maybe there should be a planner or something. There isn't, but what I might use instead is um, just the coffee cup. just thought I had brunchy ones. But I think I, the brunchy ones are just in the black. I don't think I want to use black today. I'll use the meal one because I might not have much use for that one otherwise. 
put that here because we have lunch as well. So that's that. That's cool. Okay. Um, and I think that's about it for those kinds of things. Um, what I would like to do is put a little focusy thing here. So I, I think I'm going to switch to the black for that because I really want to have that stand out, if you like. So here's the brunch ones, brunch, lunch, coffee, drinks, event. But I think I'm going to have a top three. These are so pretty. And I'm going to put that... I'm going to put it at the top here. Top three. I was wondering if I could put these. No, I think I will stick with three and I'll use the dots. So let's go with the pale taupe dots. Top three. One. and three so I'm just going to switch to the current week that we're in because I need to carry across some of that stuff um, okay I think that's it this is like I said pretty quick because it is quite a minimal week um, in terms of how I'm planning so let's write some stuff in. So that's kind of the work things put in there. Um, and now I'll just put in the birthdays. And I'll put in my weekend plans. Let's zoom you in a little. Um, totally different to the old style, isn't it? Um, I just feel like it's going to give me a little more focus. Um, I like it. I think this is quite cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just put in the things I have to get done, like I absolutely have to get done. And uh, I don't know if you can see there, but the um, training that we've got, this week is uh, very long so it's all day Wednesday all day Thursday and all of Friday afternoon so I don't have a lot of time uh, to actually get to do's done but there are things that just have to get done so um, I really need to make sure that these three things that I'm putting on the side here in this top three I just have to make sure these 100% get done because they are super, super important for the week um, ahead. So that's the top three. Um, I, I'm not sure what else I want to put here, but what I do want to do on the rest of the days is put down um, some of the to-dos that I just have to get done. So I'm going to dive in and do those right now. I'm just thinking I'm going to draw like a checkbox. So maybe instead of doing that, what I'll do is put down some stickers. And I think either our circles. Well, here's some used ones already. I don't seem to have any squares. Excuse Gidget burping over there. She's so gross. Um, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm going to. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to go with the... Actually, I'll go with the second lightest taupe colour. Uh, and what I might do... Actually, I'll do them towards the bottom-ish. Uh, let's see. With one we've got a birthday on it, so we'll do it here. So that's third up from the bottom. Fourth up from the bottom. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just thinking, you know, I normally have a to-do list. Uh, meetings at the top, to-do list at the bottom. So I kind of want to stick with that sort of idea. Um, but I'm just going to give myself three to-dos a day, I think. You know, sometimes I put down six or seven things and realistically, especially this week with the training, there's probably not going to be that, that kind of time available. So I think it makes more sense to be a bit more sensible about it and only make time, make, uh, what's the word? Make sensible lists. Have I said sensible like three times in that? last minute sorry about that um i know what i mean and i think you do too right it just i don't see the point in trying to overwhelm myself with a billion to do's when there are specific things that just have to get done and um i kind of like the idea of narrowing it down a little to the and distilling out the most important things to get done now we'll see if we're going to run out of the same colored dots even though I've got another another sheet of these okay so there's our week I'm just going to pop in some to do's now so that I can try to make sure I've got my all my tasks covered so I'll just go ahead and do that So one thing I will say is that I'm loving having this extra space, uh, this in the horizontal direction. I used to be a horizontal planner back in the old days. Um, just pull in my previous week. I only have this much space, right? Erin Condren style space. It's nice to be able to write full sentences, not full sentences, but a bit more detail than just the very small amounts I'd had in before. Okay, there's my week. I can't believe how small and minimal it is. It's crazy, isn't it? This is not how I normally plan, but I really quite like it. I find it a little bit refreshing to not have the busyness of the color and the craziness, which I, you know, I adore. I'm always so happy at the end of planning a week out in the old style, but I've been desperate to do something like this for a while. Ever since I saw the first, um, when we had the, B6 Kiki K inserts. Let me just show you just so we remember what they look like. They look like this, right? So very similar, um, but a lot more room and super stylish with the printing, uh, the fonts and things that May has used. But since I saw this kind of layout, it is a little tight for me, I think, that size, but um, May's inserts here in A5 in particular are really comfortable like there's a ton of room to really put all the information that you want now I could go in here and add washi and uh, stickers and things if I wanted to and I might do that next time but I think for this week I'm just going to keep it paired back and simple I did bring like a little stash of washi to my table uh, and they're all beautiful, um, and I'm desperate to use some, sort of, but I actually am also keen to not use it. I just kind of want to keep it, like I said a billion times now, minimal, um, which makes me very happy. So um, I've got in the front of my planner some of these note to self stickers, uh, sticky notes, and I thought about just popping one of them on here in case I want to just put something in there. But I think I won't because, like I said, they're at the front of the book anyway, in front of the planner anyway. So let's pop it back in the planner and see what we think. I'm actually super keen to set up my monthly spread now. Like, I can't wait to do, like, all of January properly just to get it all mapped out. So... Here. And I would like to do that on camera, but I just don't know if I'm really going to get time to set that up on camera. All right, so here we have the week ahead, and it's um, 
really pretty. I think it's really pretty. Um, I love this kind of minimal layout that we have happening here. Um, we've got the um, top three things I need to focus on and I've got space to put something else there if I want to. Um, I've got my meetings at the top of the page and the big training things and then I've got this little to-do list. So what I could do if I just want to be a little bit extra and you know I do, um, I can put the to-dos uh, labels. Let me grab a couple to get me started. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a little to-do label here just above each of the to-do lists. Now totally unnecessary because I think we can all tell that a to-do, you know, a, that a, a little checklist like this is probably a to-do list but it's so cute. Why not? I say. To-dos. And you know I'm probably using far too many stickers but they're just pretty and I want to so I'm going to to do to do to do I have other stickers as well I could use like scripty ones and that's cute that adds a little extra something to it as well right cool I'm so excited I can't wait to see how this works for me um, rather than having the busyness as I said I've got this minimal layout for work I feel kind of I don't know I don't know if I should say this but I do feel a little more comfortable getting this spread out at work as opposed to the crazy pink stuff that I always have um, but you know having said that I do love the crazy pink stuff that I always have so um, I'm just gonna do it in a slightly different way for a while and see how we go see how it works um, and what I can make of it so I think it's exciting I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works out um, what I also love is that these stickers are so cute and minimal and tiny that I can fit pretty much all of them here in the front of my planner so I've just been collecting them together um, like my transparent dots I like to put with my other dots so I'll just grab all those together. You can switch off here if you want to. I'm really just uh, organizing my planner. <laughs> Although I do think that some of you quite enjoy the planner organization stuff. That's why a lot of us are here half the time. Um, this cute little bow sticker that I always manage to put on incorrectly. Pop those in there. And then We've got these taupe ones as well as the new black ones that I didn't have before. I think the black ones um, might have been from my Kris Kringle. I can't remember now. I've, I've forgotten. But I'm going to put all these together just because I've only got one paper clip left out on the desk with me. And I'll pop them in there as well. I put those in there and these can go in here. I just had a thought while I'm at it to I'll put in my ruler. This is actually my Filofax ruler, but that's okay. I thought I might put this clear sticky note um, just on here. So if I think of anything I want to write on there, I can. But I also have the underneath available to me too. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop talking. Can you imagine? This is a pretty quick video, I think. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me know what you think. I'm super keen to hear uh, your thoughts on what you think about this new minimal setup. Um, I'm just seeing these rose cold labels here on the dividers. They're so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm done. Thanks, guys. I so appreciate you coming by and watching, and I look forward to catching up again with you all super, super soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.